The eyes of the modern army are in the air. Eyes sharpened by the finest instruments that detect and record the slightest suspicious detail. Truck convoys, sun reflections, tire tracks in grass. The discovery of an installation practically amounts to its destruction. A bivouac area spotted is a bivouac area lost. The extremities of roads are the first thing the enemy will investigate. Dead ends or turnarounds must not exist in the immediate vicinity of the bivouac. An abrupt road end always arouses suspicion. Here is a deadly clue for the enemy. It will be obvious to him that many vehicles have traveled the road to the bivouac area while few have gone beyond it. To deceive an enemy observer, the first requirement is careful selection of the bivouac. With the aid of a map or photo map, a close study of roads and covered areas is made. The reconnaissance officer must inspect the site tentatively chosen, checking the availability of roads and paths, as well as the tactical value of the position. The bivouac may be occupied for one night or for weeks. Consequently, the location of all installations is planned in detail. Particular emphasis must be given to the amount of concealment offered by the overhead cover. After arrangements for the reception of troops and vehicles are made, the convoy moves out. In close column, these trucks would be like ducks in a shooting gallery from an air attack and a heavy dose of machine gun strafing. Don't forget, the enemy flyer is on the lookout. If he spots you, it may mean the failure of a mission. Vehicles in convoy are usually spread out. Maintain an interval of about 100 yards. Having reached the approach road, the convoy turns in while the security detachment moves on ahead. Don't miss a trick in hiding traces of the maneuver. Signs remind everyone to stay within the boundaries of the taped areas. This prevents the widening of established roads and ensures that no tracks will be made across open stretches. Guards are posted to enforce orders relating to camouflage discipline. Guides or route markers control traffic. Remember this about standing grass. It has a certain darkness caused by the shadows of the individual blades. When they have been crushed, the shadows are no longer present and the tracks appear lighter. You can be sure the enemy will not overlook these tracks, or you. Short tracks can be eliminated by brushing up the flattened grass. When loose dirt is flattened, the tracks also become lighter than the undisturbed ground. When you enter the bivouac area, move in promptly. Don't halt or close up in the open. After you're under some cover, if necessary, shift your vehicle around to make sure you have proper dispersal and full concealment. Be smart. Drive in far enough to take full benefit of overhead cover. If possible, Park in the shadows of trees. The eye and the photograph see only the shadow and not you or your truck. Even in country that may look fairly open to you, there's usually cover to be had if you look around. But you may still be in trouble. This scout car was invisible in the morning. Now in the afternoon, the sun has shifted, and with it the shadow that protected it. <laughs> 